TND Productions presents Pseudo Cinema. Hi there, I am Peter, and this is Pseudo Cinema. But before we get on with it, we're doing something a little different today. We are going to spin a wheel. No, it's not the wheel of Breen. But it's a wheel. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Hi there, Danny. How you hey, doing? Hey, hey, if you look Where's behind Danny? you, Peter, tell us what the categories are. All right, Ego Project. What's an Ego Project? I would assume it's just something that builds up the director or the, the somebody's ego. What's the yeah. next category? We've got Franchise Cash-ins. See, part of franchise that, that they make a movie of just so you don't forget the franchise. And what's really next? Uh, the Breen Zone. Okay. What is the Breen Zone? What do you think that is? What do you think it is? <laughs> it's Neil Breen movies. Oh, Neil movie we have what? more categories. Micro budget. Micro it's budget. Down, and that kind of speaks for itself. And the final category is what? The Art House Documentary. Art House Documentary. That is a, a documentary that also can be an art film. It could be shot in, the art in an art house too. Or, or shown in our art house, not shot. Maybe people need, need to be shot in the art house who made it. I don't know. Uh, we shall find out. We shall so find out. I'm just so going to go so, ahead and yeah. spin. So go ahead and give that wheel a good spin. Okay. And I'll tell you what movie it is. And around and around she goes, where she stops. Ego Project is Ego Pro Okay, Ego Project. Now, now here's his little envelope down by you. Yes. That envelope is your emergency. Do you want to go for the Ego Project or what's in the envelope? Um, I am curious to know what there is in the mystery envelope now that I see there's writing on it. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid the Ego Project may be the same as the Breen, but maybe not. Who knows? Shall I reach inside the mystery envelope? You want to reach inside the mystery envelope? Okay. And the mystery is... A folded piece of paper. A folded piece of paper. Art House Documentary. Wow. Art House Documentary. So, stay tuned. We're going to show you Art House Documentary. Stay tuned for that. Welcome, Welcome to, to Cinema. Cinema. I'm the guy on the right. And I'm the guy on the left in the Hawaiian shirt. I'm Danny. And I'm Peter. This is Pseudo Cinema. And, and you just spun a wheel. Yes, I have. And I wanted to take a chance, so I actually looked inside an envelope, or envelope, however you yeah, want to pronounce uh, it. Yeah, kind of like a let's make a deal kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And look at my crazy costume. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. Well, yeah. we won, or I won. An art house documentary. You won our house. <laughs> you make it sound like a prize. Well, well, we were talking about let's make a deal. Well, uh, let me tell you, this movie, this movie when it came out wasn't a prize because it because it bombed at movie theater. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're we're gonna watch we're gonna watch Rainbow Bridge you know, from 1970. Okay. Uh, Rainbow Bridge is a documentary or art house film, which follows the day to day residents of a commune in Maui. Oh well, that's a good thing I bought a Hawaiian yeah, shirt. Hawaiian shirt. Sure, there yeah. you go. Okay. The movie would be largely uh, unmarkable if it wasn't for uh, the interview and performance by one no other than Jimi Hendrix. Oh. Yeah, this, uh, this movie was produced by Michael Jeffrey, Hendrix's manager. Okay. And, and it was directed by Chuck Ween, who worked with any Warhol movies. So that's, that's why it has a little Arts, weird art house yeah. thing to it. Okay, that's, that makes it okay. interesting. Uh, it's starring New York model Pat Hartley. So what's really funny about this movie is um, it's Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Jimi Hendrix was, was a big marketing marketing thing for you. You have a big Jimi Hendrix soundtrack and everything. Jimi Hendrix is only in the little, small little 15, 20 minutes of it. Yeah. This is the director's cut version though. So, so, it's, uh, so ho hopefully you're going to have more Jimi Hendrix in it. Okay, have you seen it before? No, I haven't. So, so if you like this, subscribe and leave, leave a big thumbs up. But we'll say more about that after the film. Yeah, but right now, on with, with the show! show. Ah. <laughs> easy Rider. <laughs> the song I think is Easy Rider. That's kind of cool. Wow. Okay. That was a trip. 
That was interesting. Very interesting. It was a trip, man. Very interesting. It was movie. a cosmic trip out to the out to <laughs> space with the Space Brothers. Yes, yeah, Space Brothers. And then it yeah. was mystical, and you just had to get into the groove. Okay. Can you dig it? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what? Yeah. Well, what? Uh, first, first things first. That, well, that, that makes a lot monologue, of sense. The monologue at, at the beginning with the black screen. That was off-putting. I forgot about that. I forgot all about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, so why why do we have to have so much exposition before we go into a movie about about something we still don't understand? Do you know that the space people have already okay. established <laughs> regular routes to the U.S. <laughs> Thank you. And the makers of this film, who are energized with them, are in contact with them at mm -hmm. will. I feel the like world a space is person. in the throes of accelerated chaos. <laughs> The ever-growing dysfunction is dehydrating the mind of man and woman. Dehydrating. And what are you doing as society disintegrates? What was he talking about? It was just distracting. Yeah. If if I had if 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 there was some kind of scene or something, I would see it as part of the film. Uh, maybe moviegoers in the theater wouldn't have seen it that way. They would be there sitting. Actually, yeah. they probably would have anyway, too. I'd, if I were in the theater, I'd probably go, wait, wait, wait a minute, what's going on? The, some of the conversations at the beginning were in the oh, yeah, film yeah, the, part, all, they were all disjointed. All those religious people, who, uh, uh, who, who near, near at, at, I guess, that big, oh, yeah. big lawn area outside that big campus, I guess it was yeah. the house campus and stuff. They were saying things of, uh, have, have, have you met Laura? Have you done that? And having five conversations, and they're all like gloom and doom conversations. Yeah, it, it, they just a lot of them just kind of uh, bombard her with uh, just scripture. That's what Jesus yeah, died for do because think, he do you think loved us. Do you think they were hired actors or do you think they were actual people? That w that looked contrived. It, it did it, look a little looked, overacted, a little. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Especially when they had to go ahead and get the shots of their faces and everything. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, after seeing the whole film, I can tell what. Uh, I, I could tell why that was put there in the beginning, but still, uh, it, it was a little too in your face. Once she had gotten to the island of Maui, you yeah. still had her friend giving her a little tour around in the little speed buggy, a dune buggy. Yeah, yeah a little hippie buggy. Hi hippie buggy. The hippie that. buggy. Hippie buggy, yeah. Well, I think it's a dune buggy. There we go. Uh, yeah, we coined that term. Hippie buggy? Hippie buggy. Remember that. that. If it's all, buggy. yeah. Well, uh, if this was 1972, maybe we'd uh, it would catch on a bit more. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, it's um, get, a get your hippie buggy and go, please. Get out of here. Well, lots of people have little hippie buggies now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that There's was still little, interesting yeah. to see the transitions there and see the the symbolism and even the flying and what else. Uh, Did you notice there's a lot of walking? I didn't pay any attention to that. A, a lot of walking in in the beginning, uh, when, when they get all the get out of the hippie buggy, they start walking a lot. Well, it's a tour. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, yeah. The yeah, friend uh, is showing you around the island. I like this and stuff. I had a lot of great cameos in the movie. Uh, we had Spicoli uh, from Fast Times and Church Run Hot. <laughs> yeah. We had um, uh, Dr. Drew. I don't know who Dr. Drew is. Dr. Drew for, from an old, old MTV show. Okay. MTV, uh, sex, I didn't watch MTV sex way back show. when. And you you have, kept uh, saying that there was Greg Allman. Greg Allman. Oh, yeah, Greg Allman. Yeah, the guy, the guy with a big white beard looked like Greg Allman. He was too skinny. Yeah, Greg Allman. And, and well, once, he gets, once he gets to the island and starts um, meeting, meeting these, uh, this ragtag group of people, there's a lot of uh, people uh, talking about how, how I am more spiritual than you are, and, and I'm more spiritual than they are. I'm the best, most spirited person there is. Oh, yeah. And uh, No, you're not. You're not that spirited. I'm more spirited than you. It was like a big argument. That's they're just bickering about who has more spirit. <laughs> who has more spirit? We do, we do. They have competing teams on a, on a cosmic level. You know. And, and uh, you had the astrology pickup line. That was pretty cool. What was the astrology pickup line? Oh, so they don't know much about the planet. Which means your sex life is prone to all kinds like of trips. Awesome. Freaky trips, bisexual trips, insane uh, trips, drug trips. Yeah, you talking about trips. This is my chart. It's probably Hartley. Oh, there's your name right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there was that scene with uh, 
Who was it? It was, I guess, the the Greg Almond looking guy, the one with the long blonde hair and the bl- blonde oh, beard, yeah. mm-hmm. and that girl that looked like she could have been sixteen. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. She and was that was a little young. uncomfortable. And was she was digging animal. him. Yeah. And he was. You feel that? <laughs> but don't you, don't you think it's the hey, utmost? Come on. If you want to bring a soul in, sure. But this fluid, this, this energy I've got inside of me is for building bodies. If I'm, if I'm not building a body for a soul, I use it for myself. What? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't. It sounds selfish. That's selfish. <laughs> this vital energy that flows through me. It, it builds my body, it keeps me alive, it's what I feed off of. But it's what I feed off of. Exactly, so we don't waste it, we keep it within us. <laughs> That's not wasting. It's basically giving her the brush off. Oh, very, yeah, um, yeah. I, I need to save all my energy for myself. <laughs> it kind of made him sound a bit selfish. Just like, yeah, I, I need to get... He didn't move fast enough, though. He didn't just jump get away off the bed. He just... He still was kind of lying there, but he's like, I've got to save my energy for uh, myself. Because he liked where they were. He liked where they were, and he said, this is good enough for me. Now, uh, they go see that, that quote-unquote ecologist. From 1937 till 1970, that is for 33 full years, every single ounce of any kind of soluble fluoride, poisonous fluoride, must become a blue. Must be marked deadly poison. Skull and gas bones. <coughs> Keep away from children. That is the law. So many- he is almost like a preacher. Hang a tree or, or, or Earth will be hit by Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet, <coughs> this messenger of God that comes half as close as the sun, 50 million miles, at 4 million miles an hour, almost as big as the moon, with a 100 million mile long fiery tail, on almost flag? collides with this Earth for 72 hours. And he doesn't collide. And I'm sketched. <laughs> this convinces the most stupid atheist that an eternal, yeah, ever-loving, yeah. almighty power is running this universe. So, so this, uh, this film was supposed to be a Jimi Hendrix movie. But, but he had, had, had to go through, what, an hour and t- 25, hour, 30 minutes to get your reward of... A uh, little snippet footage, snippets of Jimi Hendrix in concert, and and you had Jimi Hendrix having some interesting conversations yeah, yeah. and talks. Oh with yeah, yeah, uh, people about <laughs> yeah, Jimi Hendrix in the greatest light ever, a stone ass drunk. Oh, oh, where was he? He was talking at one point about I guess his, was it his teacher or was it a girl in his class? I Isn't that no is that that's idea that scene? What he was talking about. I mean, he uh, he walked into the. Interview with a bottle, I think it was Jack Daniels. Yeah, he did have a bottle. It was like that. half empty, too. Or, yeah. So you know he was drinking, right? Uh, if I've been to any of his concerts, I don't quite recall. But, but, but you, you've heard, you've heard. I've yeah. probably heard recordings of them yes. uh, how more they, recently. How to other ones you heard? I appreciated hearing a, a greater sampling of his repertoire rather than yeah. expecting only maybe one or two songs mm-hmm. because of a hurried tacked on ending. Oh, uh, they really padded the runtime there, didn't they? No, 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 not just in the ending, but, but the, the whole surfing, surfing montages. I liked some of them. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, surfing with some Jimmy Hendrix music playing in the background, but that was just to, to drive <laughs> things longer. Really, you can tell. Yeah? Okay. So. I'd still like some of the sequences. They did go on a little bit too long, but yeah. um, I liked them with some of the Hendrix's music in the background. That was nice. Yeah. If, if you like this, please give a thumbs up like he's doing right there. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And then you do what? Ring that bell for more videos. Ring that bell, you get more and more content like this. Don't forget to go to our Spring Store. You can get cool t-shirts, masks, uh, mugs, coffee mugs, 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 mugs for whatever uh, your purpose may be. Sweatshirts, whatever you need, yeah. yeah. And also we have the uh, Discord. Ooh. Yes, you can chat with us on there if uh, we are ever online when you are. Or leave us a message. Yes, leave we'll us a message. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Or join us on Patreon. Patreon? Patreon. You know what you can do with Patreon? You can give us some money and you have three different levels. You can give us some money and you get special features. And we do need that money. Believe me, you get better... Better camera equipment, better 
maybe lighting. lighting. Yeah, light. Definitely I feel like lighting. I'm in the dark right now. We're all we're all in the dark in this world. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But yeah, we got Patreon. So, but but before we go, we have better one. Writers. <laughs> better writers. Yeah. But before we go, we have one more great announcement. Yes, we are going to launch a new channel. A new channel. What's this channel called? It's going to go out, be called TND Entertainment. TND Entertainment. What's that? What does that entail? Well, you'll have such favorites as Pseudo Cinema. This one right here. Yes, this one right, right here on there, and uh, possibly some more shows in the future. Maybe maybe some comedy or some TV. Uh, yes, reviews um. of just music as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, music. May, uh, if you, do you like reading? Yeah, I, I do read. Maybe yeah. some book reviews, some comic books, some, some comic books. Yeah, and uh, just uh, just more more entertainment. If you like entertainment, go to T and D Entertainment. Yes. Uh, well, I will leave a link to the description below, right down here. Okay. Okay. Also, we'll be adding to this channel an old favorite as well. What favorite is that? Sugar? Uh, no. We'll be adding. I talk in the table. We we'll bring back. We're gonna bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll also have on the street here on this channel. As always. As always. Yes. Um. And and to fill in the blank on the cinema on this channel, we're gonna come up with some other ideas too. Exactly. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. All right. Until next time. This has been Pseudo Cinema. That's very interesting. Okay. Oh. Mr. Rabbit! <laughs> it's Alice in Wonderland! <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know what that is?